Welcome back to Criticade! Where we're gonna play a mini game, I guess? Just go with the, just be a ghost. Just go with the joke. Okay. Where we're gonna be a Criticade, I guess, but I say something funny. Ooh. <laughs> 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 you know what I never realized what? with all my wallpapers? I have a lot of panty and stocking. Yeah. Like a lot. It's because they're hot. They are hot. And I love the show. It's yeah. fucking hilarious. But I didn't realize how many of my wallpapers are just panty and stocking. But otherwise, welcome back to Critic. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> uh, so, I th okay, I think I remember this from when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't get much farther than this. I, I will tell you the exact point once we get to the game where I don't remember anything anymore. Okay. Because <laughs> there, there's a certain point where it cuts off. What if it just goes... So fa mi re do. Do so fa so mi so re so. Do so fa so mi re do. Do so fa so mi so re so. Do so fa so la di do. Robert and I were in choir. Not uh, together, because uh, again, same Robert teacher. is actually eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> and Jacob's twenty-four. Yeah, <laughs> you're yeah, you're twenty. Yeah, you are twenty-four. I am twenty-four. Yes. I keep asking you that, even though I was with you on your twenty-fourth birth, the twenty-third birthday, because we saw Star Wars. Yeah, we saw the fourth on Awakens my birthday. On your birthday, my birthday is December eighteenth, and we went to a box store. Remember that? We did. Oh yeah, we did. We were in Chicago, and there's this <laughs> store called the Box Store. Yeah, it was next literally just theater. about boxes. I'm not doing. Yeah, it was fun. Game. We had fun, and yeah, it was fun. We, our group, were like friends, but like barely knew each other. What? What are you talking about? That was like December of 2015. We, we were like still knew each other. I didn't. I didn't know shit about you guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you didn't know what? No, you still knew what my fetishes were and everything. So <laughs> I don't remember. That's that's the point of friendship. I just remember I I didn't. At my strong, strong bad first impression by me? by judging. No, because I was really judgy when I got when yeah. I first got to community college where we met. Okay, but but describe uh, me when you first met me because I know where this is going. Literally, I just went. That guy's wearing a fucking Magic the Gathering T-shirt. <laughs> I and love I, Magic the Gathering. I immediately was like, <laughs> I'm not going to be friends with that guy. Yeah. Two years later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But well, <laughs> but let me let me let me state for the audience. That was a really oh, dickish thought that I had at that well, point in time. Yeah, but you didn't know because because well, like, even then it, it's still yeah, fucking it's still douchey. It's dick. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like I guess because I was going on through some some straight fucking like ego high at the time. Sure, I mean I everyone like, does. That's fair. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm in college now. That means I get to be above people who I think are below me. So if people have different tastes than me, oh. If people have different political views than me, oh. That's the, that's the exact kind of person I was exactly yeah, two years ago. We've, we've, we haven't talked about this on the show, but I, I used to be, I mean, I'm still religious, but I used to be, like, obnoxiously religious. Really? And oh, yeah. I didn't even know that. Oh, yeah, I, I was. And, like, I would judge people a lot. And, and so, like, I learned, like, the hard way that, be feeling morally superior to people is just never worth it. Like it's, it's just the worst thing that you can ever do is to cast aside someone else's opinions just because you think you're right. I mean, I used to be also very obnoxiously religious and now yeah. I'm i uh, I'm st staunchly atheist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but like, uh, you'd, you'd agree with me, right? Like, like being an asshole about people's beliefs just is oh, never yeah. worth it. Even, even if, even even if, if you, you think, think their right. beliefs are stupid. Right. Like, I, I I never I never judge people's opinions unless their opinions are directly hateful. Or yeah, hateful or yeah, hateful or harmful is usually mm -hmm. how I judge. But but it can go on any side of the spectrum there because there are yes. people who are of the the side that is quote unquote less hateful that are just hateful. Oh, there's dickish people. Yeah, the, and, hate, and and they hate pretend and and they bring it under a, a, a theme of love. <laughs> yes, and that that shit. That shit is almost worse, but it's not. It's not worse. At all. <laughs> I, I think I think it's worse. Actually. You think so? Yeah, because if you, because I've experienced it. Like when I was religious, I thought that I was justified because I was in the right. Like my my side was right. My side was good, and that that's worse to me than someone who knows that they're being a dick and still says that. I mean, they're still a dick, but 
if if you think you're justified, you you go a lot farther. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I don't know. It just take a moment <laughs> before you judge some someone. Yes, I agree. So absolutely. Yeah. The crazy frog but, guy though. Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't. <laughs> We're doing the let's player Patience, thing where we just don't one. fucking pay attention. Let me explain. <laughs> Here's what happened. It's a lot of talking. You were rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's keep after defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, you had a loud crash and saw a huge sword. This is split the third the time that this story has been told, and I was fucking there! Whoosh! Out of the blue! God damn it! The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still there. S still lost somewhere out there. <laughs> Fuck, sorry. <laughs> no! They're still there! What the fuck are you doing here? You're worried about the princess. First, you need to take care of Smithy. Oh, right. His name's Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. <coughs> Mac, who you, Mac, who you <laughs> defeated at Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. I'm also coming. I hear you in the Mushroom Kingdom call it sporing. <laughs> you spore everywhere. <laughs> Mark's like, what's to come? <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry. I Spore. almost <laughs> forgot to tell you something. We found the star in the castle at Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know why it was there? Sweating. I'm starting to go into the Joey voice a little bit. You are. The <laughs> Wait, he, like Grandpa sweating. He's like, he's like, oh, star. Uh, most interesting. Shit, my stash. <laughs> <laughs> like you crack open the star and it's full of full of the His chancellor's spores. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, oh. Now more than ever, I believe they will <laughs> play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? No. No! God damn it! No! Please stop! <laughs> My favorite thing from Newgrounds when I was a kid was, was animations where Mario went, Mama fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you would never go motherfucker. they just rip, Mamma yeah. Mia and fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his name's Frog Fucius. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I didn't notice that. Should I, should I do a voice? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was fucking with you. I was fucking oh, with you. I'm Jesus. Not really... Mello, you speak <laughs> as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario in his adventure too, you quivering pussy! Uh, Grandpa, what are you talking about? Did I fucking stutter? <laughs> I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to crickets of Frog Fuchsia's being like, "You're not a fucking frog." <laughs> <laughs> Shit, did I never tell you that? <laughs> how, how do you not know? You look nothing like me. Hello, my boy. I've kept this from you until now, but you're. Yeah, you what? Are gay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I've been watching The Walking Dead, yeah. and I hit the famous scene, right? Say yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I hit the famous scene from The Walking Dead. You know what? Like the one with all the memes where where. Uh, Rick is crying. Cool! Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> uh, but then I found out that the the origin of that meme was a video called Rick finds out his son is gay. Yeah. And then it's just him crying <laughs> for like two minutes. <laughs> it's it's literally shot for shot the same scene, but it's titled Rick finds. Oh, out shit, his wait, wait. So he was traveling. I was sitting next to the thing, and I saw a weird, <laughs> a weird rainfall. And Jacob skipped the text. Ah! And then there was a, a ba basket, and it came from this guy. I peeked inside, and there was a little baby inside. And the name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff, and I took him and raised him as my own grandchild. He was a powerful magic, and I knew he had it. He did, he wasn't it. And he was a powerful <laughs> puff. I thought, surely this child must be some from far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? No, you are. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is that lack of Oh. Never mind. Mallow! Now is not the time to cry. Oh, fuck you. You didn't find out you're just not a frog. <laughs> Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. He's not dying. <laughs> <laughs> Your real mother and father are out there. 
<laughs> Somewhere. That's his thing, though. Like, he ends every sentence like he's just about to die. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, dude. Psst. Mario. Oh! I'm actually 30. <laughs> I'm fucking with him. It's the boy's... His boy's magic is going to come in handy in your journey, so Grandpa, use him well. I'm incredible. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it is settled. And we're some bark on your adventure immediately. <laughs> <laughs> totally fucking with him. First, <laughs> go to Rose Town where they need your help. That'd be a lot funnier if, like, Malo was a frog. <laughs> he's like... He was... He's not only was Frog Fuchsius 30 years old and fucking with him, but he's also not a clown. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, when he summons rain, he just, like, spits on Mario. <laughs> and he's like, I'm healing you. <laughs> Feel my healing juices. <laughs> Ew. Who is he, the Chancellor? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Chancellor Palpatine. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. I am the Senate. <laughs> Man, Revenge of the Sith is just fucking it's stupid. It's so funny. <laughs> it's it's sad that it's better than Return of the Jedi, though. Am I right? I don't think it Ladies? is. Ladies? <laughs> Ladies? I don't think it is. You can't jump on or off when the block is blue. Oh, Rogue Jedi One is a bad movie. Is... Continue. God, man. <sighs> My God, man! Uh, so I watched The Mummy 2017. Oh, yeah. Was that okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool. cool. All right. All right. Now we can mention Donald Glover in the tags. So, yeah. um, and because Donald Glover's in Spider-Man Homecoming, we can mention Spider-Man in the tags. Oh, yeah, he is in Homecoming, isn't he? Yeah, they confirmed who he's playing. Yeah. He's playing Miles Morales' uncle. Yeah. Which is dope. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Uh, which is exactly who I thought he was going to be playing. What the fuck is Psycho? Yeah, you should see what it does. I, I bet he it turns them he to He dresses side. up in his mother's clothing and stabs <laughs> them in the shower. <laughs> what the you fuck? Give him 57 health? I, that's what it looks like. <laughs> you should look what that does once that, you get I, out of the Yeah, battle. I should I should look up what that is, because that's fucking stupid. Yeah. I feel like I was talking about something before I said that psychopath thing. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah Mummy. Ho oh, yeah, home Mummy, Homecoming. Yeah, so The Mummy was a staggeringly pretty bad movie. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, it was, like, weird, like, bad funny, because it was, like, the first third of it was ripe perfect it's so bad it's good oh yeah it's so funny that's awesome it's almost slapsticky every <laughs> every time something violent or like quote-unquote scary happens to any character yeah it's super fucking oh, funny that's great and all the comic relief they try and do is not funny <laughs> but <laughs> i love it but then the second half of the movie they start really the second third of the movie they start really pushing the uh the extended universe thing right so they go to like this this place where it's like uh, Russell Crowe is Dr. Jekyll and he runs this like monster hunter facility okay. which if you were going to do I think it's a good idea if you're going to do a, a, a thing with a bunch of famous movie monsters yeah. having a core theme of a group that hunts the monsters is a good tying theme Yeah. but why have it run by Dr. Jekyll why not have <laughs> it be run by Van Helsing seriously yeah uh, Yeah. That, that would make way more sense played by Hugh Jackman remember, remember Van Helsing I do <laughs> it's okay remember when that came out in theaters it was like 2004, yeah. I remember playing I the. I remember playing the video game uh, on a at a game crazy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was bad. So, uh, <laughs> but Russell Crowe, yeah, is really good in that movie. Really? Yeah, he plays a really good Doctor Jekyll That's and weird. a fucking captivating Mister Hyde. Wow. Yeah. And Neat. I wasn't expecting there to be a Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde like scene. Right. But. He turns into Mr. Hyde, oh, spoilers. Awesome. And it's fucking dope. <laughs> Cause he does he does this like when he when he's when he's Russell Crowe. Yeah. He's just doing his Russell Crowe voice. Yeah. Well then when he's Mr. Hyde, he goes fucking nuts. <laughs> and it's really good. Neat. Yeah, and he's that sounds, uh, uh, yeah, I, I wanna see that now. Yeah, honestly, I'm sure once the movie's out on DVD you could just look up it's a it's a five minute scene. Sure. Uh, Spare me the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Though I recommend the first third of that movie. It's really funny. Really? Yeah. Uh, there's one joke in the movie that asks, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> cool. Yeah, and then the last third, they try really hard to just like make it a straight action movie, and it doesn't work at all. Huh. Yeah. One joke for every hour. What is this, Criticade? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Want to hear a joke? Yeah. The Mummy, 2017. Ha! Uh, 2017 is a great year for shit film. 
because <laughs> that's fair. Uh, the Emoji Movie is coming out. Yeah. Uh, the Mummy came out. I'm excited. For uh, that. Cars Three came out. Uh, oh yeah. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm excited. I'm excited um, for that. I don't even think that's in theaters anymore. And definitely by the time this episode's out, it's super going to be out of theaters. Uh, <laughs> uh, and They'll like have Cars 4 direct to DVD. <laughs> but yeah, already. The, yeah, like the next month. <laughs> Shit. Uh, and... Fuck, I don't think I can get a um, the, There's a um, crowdfunded sequel to Troll 2. Really? Called Goblin 2. <laughs> but the funny part is that it is about trolls. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And it actually has the guy who played the father... He he Fuck. reprises his role from Troll Two. Really? Yeah. Huh. Uh, and there's that. There's the the room movie, uh, the James Franco room movie that's p- supposedly like an Oscar contender. Really? Yeah. The movie about the room. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I'm. I'm. It comes out December. I'm very excited to see. I it. I want to see that. Uh, and uh, Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestro, the stars of the room, have a yeah. new film coming out next year oh, called yeah. uh, Best Friends. Uh, which I'm super excited to watch. <sighs> Man, bad movies abound. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm happy. And the little kid from uh, from uh, um, from Troll Two, he actually directed a film, and it's on Netflix. Really? It's called Girlfriend's Day. I haven't huh. watched it. I watched the first five minutes of it with my girlfriend. It was uh, boring. Yeah. Uh, so we didn't finish it. I'm sure it's better when you're by yourself. Sure. Ah, cock. Just jump. Oh. Yeah. No. It's like a little maze. Yeah. Well, I want that flower. I want that cake. Oh, wait. I still haven't shown you Nicolas Cage wants cake, have I? No, no, you It's a not. classic Newgrounds animation. Oh. It's not actually that funny. Fuck. Of course not. A lot of the Newgrounds stuff wasn't really funny. That's true, but it's <laughs> it's so endearing. Yeah. It really uh, was. Do you remember Chuck's New Tux? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm going to show you Chuck's New Tux after this. Cool. Because well, while, while we try and get Alice up and running. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this <laughs> is our last episode for our session. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. So... We're, we're going to do Alice next. And it's over. Yo, oh, what? Yeah. We're, we're, oh, we're, we're over, over time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. So then. Uh, so in the next episode of Criticade, uh, we're going to come back. It's going to be three weeks later. Yeah. Uh, and and Jacob is going to have grinded a lot. Yeah. Also on me. And I'm going to yeah. spore all over the place. I'm going to spore, <laughs> spore in my jorts. Oh. Get your spore your jorts t-shirts now. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> See you guys.